how can a guy balance saving money but also, you know, land a hot chick like you guys? I don't like to know that a guy is saving money. I like to know that a guy is investing his money and that he can give me the right advice. Hey, put $20,000 here, $30,000 yes. here and see what happens. Mm -hmm. When I hear a guy saving money, I'm like, what? You know, I want a man that that will teach me about money and and you know and real estate and you know somebody who can educate me on wealth creation gotcha so it's more attractive when they stimulate your brain on investing mm -hmm. than okay tidbits on saving money mm -hmm. but um i'm not trying to date a couponer <laughs> it's not hot. It's not there's hot. nothing hot about about and i don't like fruit. to hear a man saying oh i'm saving money for this that's a turn off to me really how like, do you mean uh I don't know. It's just like I want a man with that mindset that it's, it's so big that it's not about saving mm -hmm. it. Like he's looking to create wealth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And he already has systems and in, in place to make that happen in 10, 15 years from now. You know, this is what I'm looking. I'm aiming for. OK. Yeah. And if, if a guy is struggling, but he's ambitious, what are some words or phrases he can say that aren't going to turn you off? Meaning, let's say he is paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. let's say he is struggling with inflation rents you know he's, he's, mm -hmm. times are tough what can he say that you won't be like oh this guy's broke I'm say, nothing. <laughs> no. say nothing no say nothing yeah, say, yeah. yeah. say nothing because a okay. woman doesn't need to know mm -hmm. uh what does turn me on is to see a man that's really really working on himself on his mindset mm -hmm. that has a business coach that's going to events that are going to elevate his business his mind his life right Someone who's consistently uh, surrounding himself with amazing pe people and pouring into himself and also into other people. Yeah, wow. I see those same guys who are like, you know, struggling, but trying to be driven, going to the clubs on the weekend. Yeah. Like they're, you see them spending their money elsewhere. Got you it. don't see them investing in themselves. Well, one of the things I always say about money uh, and money management is that 50% of it is knowledge and understanding what to do. And the other 50% is behavior and your actions. And are your actions aligned with your knowledge? Like, you know that you're trying to save money, but you all up in the club, dog, mm -hmm. right? You know that you're trying to lose weight, but you're ordering large fries with JP club. over here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so your actions aren't exactly aligned with, uh, you know, it's like, don't talk the talk, walk the yeah. walk, right? Uh, you want to weigh in on this, sir? Yeah, I think that if someone says, I'm saving money for something, that's for them to spend it on something. That's not going to have them grow, which is why I totally agree with that. When I hear someone's like, oh, I'm saving money to go to this concert. I'm like, well, that's just a temporary thing. You're not mm. looking at the bigger picture. Right. Same with I agree with Penny Pinch and I think couponing and all that stuff. They're not looking at the bigger picture. Mm. Yeah. With you doing all this stuff, if you just focus your energy on on, on scaling what you're doing, mm -hmm. then none of that stuff matters anymore. It just becomes like neg negligible on, on, the, on the grand scheme of What's things. What's the My, phrase? Don't yeah. walk over dollars to pick up pennies? Yeah. My phrase yeah. is go big or go home. So okay. you ain't going big, just go home. And, and, hey, player, <laughs> go big or go home. Sometimes uh, when I hear my friends say, Oh, I had to move out out of my apartment because I couldn't afford this. Oh, I can't afford this or I can't go to this restaurant because I can't afford it. For me, the way I think about it, what do I have to start implementing into my life so I can afford it? So I don't need to move out of my apartment if the rent went up a thousand dollars, you know? So what are, you know, what do I need to do in my business in order to make that extra 10, 15, 20 Yeah, grand? well, one of the things I always say, you know, a budget or a, or a financial game plan is uh, your income minus your expenses. So I equate it to, I'm a big sports guy, offense and defense. Your income is your offense, right? Putting points up on the board. We're scoring. We're doing it. We're making money. Defense is limiting your expenses, right? It's how much is rent? How much is car payments? How much is gas? You know, every, food, a cell phone. Like, so you have to be like the best team isn't necessarily the team that has the best offense. And the best team isn't necessarily the team that has the best defense. It's the team that has the best of both. Like, let's use a football analogy. There's 32 football teams. You might be number, you know, five on offense, but you're number 12 on defense. And like, all right, cool, that's good. But you might be number one on offense, but if you're like number 28 on defense, it's it's not going to work. You see what I'm saying? So do the same thing with your with your with your budget. Um, like my defense is bananas, right? I'm good. Like I don't spend money. I have a sick apartment. That's what I spend my money on. 
and all I do is focus on offense <clears throat> to make more money, make more money because my I have a solid defense. Mm. Anyway, little tidbit out there. Understand the difference between offense and defense. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.